What's up, my friends? I was reading a book this morning by Lewis Howes, and he shares this experience. Growing up, he was consistently at the bottom of his English class. So when his book, The School of Greatness, came out and it became a New York Times bestseller, he was obviously super proud. But what happened is it planted some expectation, like this high expectation in his mind about what his next book should do. So when that book came out, that second book came out and it was released, he had an even bigger audience than he did in the beginning. He had past success to lean on. And so of course his mind, in his mind, that new book should become a New York Times bestseller as well, just like that first one. But it didn't. And for a couple of days, uh, he shared that he felt crushed, upset, hurt, angry. He, you know, he, people were telling him this book is great. It's helped me. Uh, but he still felt that. And what happened is he shared how he was no longer fun to be around. He wanted this thing. He wanted this thing to happen. And then it didn't happen. And he had this expectation and that expectation let him down. Have you guys ever felt like that before? So he goes on to call this the expectation hangover. He was able, like he shared in this book, that he was able to move past this by realizing that the core reason that he had written that book was not to make the list, but to help other people live better lives. So my friends, if you tie your confidence to your accomplishments, you're focusing on things that you can't necessarily control. Now, a better way to go about this is to move forward, giving it your best effort, your greatest effort, your best impact, your best creative expression and stay consistent. These are the things that you can control and then be proud of yourself in that process. I've seen in my past 13 years, I've seen expectations ruin both marriage, relationships, uh, in religion and progress towards one's meaningful mission. Like I, to be honest, I may not have achieved the greatest rank or the highest rank inside of my company. I may not be the highest paid partner. I may not have received the CEO leadership award at our annual summit uh, that happens every summer, but I am extremely proud of the consistency, the effort and the impact that I've had on a weekly basis by never missing over 13 years of staying consistent. And nobody can take that away from me. That's where my confidence comes from, the consistency of my daily actions. Now, I know that that the direct impact my daily efforts have. I know the impact it has on my life and the community that I serve. And I see how it impacts our own team's lives and, and my kids' lives as they watch that example. I know the husband and father that I am. And because of that, I will show up consistently to help other fathers and mothers know how to create and maintain healthy habits and find a way financially to be more present in their home. And that's why you see me showing up consistently with the best energy that I possibly can.